if you are working on your deepest core emotional challenges, right, those feelings of like, I'm not good enough, I'm not lovable, these very central, deep things that can get formed as a child, and maybe you've discovered some of those within you, I want to give some important caveats for working with that. I have seen much more than one person essentially re-traumatizing themselves over and over in the spirit of, let's call it, trying to go for that core belief and trying to really feel into that. So for example, taking your most painful childhood memory and holding yourself there. Maybe you've been taught or it's been presented to you that, you know, if you can just really fully allow an emotion, really get to the core of it, then the thing releases and resolves. So let's go there. Let's go where the most possible pain is, and that should unravel the whole infrastructure. Please don't do this. Only do that if, as you're doing it, it feels like it's appropriate and it actually makes a big release and you feel better after doing it. <laughs> right? Which is not what I see over and over and over again. A an analogy for this would be imagine you're going into a gym and there's a 500 pound barbell and you just can't lift it yet. You don't have the muscles, you don't have the capacity to actually do that. Well, your nervous system has to build capacity to be able to be present with different levels of intensity of emotion. So if we go to the gym and we're just pushing on that 500 pound bench press and it's hurting and we are getting, you're getting worked, right? You're going to feel like stuff is happening, but it's not productive. And you go there the next day and you're no stronger and you're no stronger and you're just kind of hurting yourself. I want you to check in and see if that's what's happening with any of your emotional work. It's not budging, it's very painful, and it feels like it's a little too much, and you're not even sure if there's a benefit. What the good news is about this is that the simpler, gentler path actually works better and faster in the vast majority of cases. In our innocence, and in what we're often told or taught, depending on the context, is, well, okay, all of these kind of patterns of behavior, these emotions, I'm discovering, they seem to keep going back to this sort of core sense of, oh, I'm not good enough, or I'm not safe. And we'll say, okay, well, let's just go for that, right? Let's just go right to the heart of that by trying to feel that, ooh, yeah, I mean, that argument was intense, but underneath that is that core sense of I'm not good enough. So. Let me try to dig into that. Okay, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm feeling it. Because if I truly feel it and allow it and get to the center of it, right? And it's just too much. It's just too much. It seems like a shortcut, but it's not. So remember that good news is that the argument, the traffic jam, the thing that's in front of you right now that you find kind of annoying, that has embedded in it Right? all of the more core central stuff. In, in the vast majority of cases, anything that's upsetting you and you're holding on to, the reason you're holding on to it in some way versus it just kind of passing through naturally. And by the way, pay close attention to your day, the rest of the day, because you'll notice some things float away, some of them don't. If you work with those, those things that don't float away, that keep bugging you, they will be far more manageable. And if you actually work with them to the point where they do feel an emotional release, and you can take a look at my video, The Fundamentals, or my free ebook in here, there's lots of great people that have their own approaches. I have some EFT tapping videos and guided meditations. and It's finding what works for you. But the point of this video is working at the level that is manageable. And life in a very beautiful way presents you with what is manageable. So if you work through that traffic jam today or that person who said that thing that really triggered you, the next layer will come up and the next layer will come up and you will actually be building. This doesn't mean it's in one sitting, but your, your nervous system actually builds the capacity more and more to be able to handle that. Because think about it this way. If the traffic jam was a little too much for your nervous system that afternoon and it's still wired, you're not going to get to the, it's not going to process the deepest core trauma. 
right? It's sort of the evidence is built into the experience. The fact that I'm still upset about these smaller things means, okay, there's some work to do there. Think again of your physical body. You lift a weight that gives a little bit of burn after some reps and you feel the muscle working, but you're not just, you know, brutalizing yourself for 30 minutes. So again, please, even if you have discovered that you have these core central beliefs and everything seems to stem from them, be very gentle in your exploration of, okay, if I do want to try to feel into that, be very mindful of how it feels. Be very mindful if you can handle it in that moment. Do not heed the advice, in my personal and professional opinion, of just trying to find that most painful thing, that most core thing, whatever memory gets you access to that, and just dive in and hold yourself there, or keep um, deflecting the day's events, the smaller events, to say, well, I don't want to work on that, right? Because I know it comes to this core thing. That's one other thing I've seen that just came to me now. It's like we don't want to work on the small thing because it seems like, well, that's too small. I know there's a deeper thing underneath, so why don't I just go to that? It's actually a way of distracting ourselves from just dealing with the thing that's in front of us and letting that process and letting it unfold naturally. So if you have any questions about, you know, more about the mechanics of this or what it looks like, uh, a comment would be great. How it's presenting itself for you will give me some, some meat to work with. I'm happy. And I love to answer any questions about this stuff and share anything that's working for you. And if you've found a way to shortcut this that I haven't found and it's working for you, we would all love to hear it because we're all just trying to do our best with this stuff. So see you on the next video. Thanks so much.